guys, and welcome to episode 61 of the 10 minute modding challenge. You're probably wondering where the results are from the January challenge. I'm gonna be working on those again very shortly. We just had to test myself and the family for COVID because we had a lot of the symptoms. So we thought we better check ourselves out. My result came back negative yesterday, but we're still waiting for the rest of the family. So I think uh, things will be shaping up, but I think it'll be all right. So I'm gonna head back into Blender and continue assembling your city blocks, but don't worry, the video will be coming. We've also had a really busy time working on the RTS game and uh, we're gonna be releasing some information this week now. So stay tuned for a little reveal video that's gonna be coming shortly. And Valve is currently reviewing our uh, Steam page. So that should be coming up soon as well with a coming soon page and the website is gonna be launching. So. I'll release a little uh, teaser video when that is up and I'll also announce the new YouTube channel and Twitter account for that game in particular. But Infensia is gonna stay the same the way it's always been as well. So we're gonna be continuing doing lots of fun stuff on this channel, don't worry. I get a lot of good requests from you guys about what to model and sometimes I can model it straight away, like the next week. And sometimes I have to wait for the mood to come along. I had a request from Galactos last week to model a soccer stadium or a football spit stadium if you're in Europe. And sometimes when I try to fulfill a request, I look through my channel history and I search for that keyword in the comments. <laughs> so I put in stadium in the search field for the comments and I realized that this has actually been requested quite a lot through the time. So we had Galactos four days ago asked, can you model a soccer stadium in 10 minutes? Last week also Charles Selrach, probably said that name wrong, but he suggested a lot of good stuff as well. And it's a perfect cool, it was a Battlestar Galactica Viper Mark I, it's the Galactica, Alien Dropship, Xenomorph, Football Stadium, there you go. Uh, Dr. Evil, El Elvis, Elvira, Battle Beyond the Starship, the Yamato, Battleship, Red Dwarf. Oh yeah, we had Bismarck as well. I'm gonna be modeling that one at some point. We've got the Barge Khalifa, the Tokyo Tower, Bore class submarine, maybe World War II sub, Space Shuttle. Oh, Space Shuttle, we did. So Saturn V rocket, Japanese Rock Garden, Blue Whale, Orca, Oil Tanker, Fish Factory Ship, Small Fishing Boat, Golden Gate Bridge, Biplane, Swordfish Mark II, F-15, B-17, P-38 twin prop fighter, garbage dump truck, or construction vehicles. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I've got a lot of good requests from you guys. The trouble is for me now to find it because when I search for a particular keyword, it's quite easy to find it because I'll search for like stadium. But when I have to find a hold, I probably have to go through all the comments and just write down a big massive list. Drisco1980, you also uh, requested a football stadium. The Blender United football stadium, that's a creative name. Chile, 9615, can you model a stadium? Mor uh, Morty Elkjar, let's go football stadium. And six months ago, he requested that when I did the aircraft carrier, and I said, cool idea, thanks. And now we're getting around to that one. Syed Mukadir Hussein, you also requested a football stadium in 10 minutes. Corey, or Core 3, said, that's dope. Blenderus said, please model a football stadium. Eight months before that, for episode 22 and 23, he said, please make a low poly football stadium. So Blenderus, I've asked for this one twice before. Poke Warrior 735 you should try to use these character fans in the stadium. So that's a bit of a, a side note. That, that should be that I should put the characters as uh, spectators in a stadium. 10 months ago, Dave Roddick said, how about a football stadium? And that was when I did episode eight, which was the little low poly city block. For episode seven, that was the earliest trace I found. It was, what about a rock concert in a stadium full of fans? So long story short, a lot of you have requested me to do a stadium, so that's what I'll be modeling this time. Ready? Stadium. Go. And we're off. Yes, tab into Ed mode. I was already in Ed mode. Big time cheating there. Control R, loop cut, two there. Okay, Control R, loop cut, two of them. Scale Y, Control R, Two of those, scale X, that should be the general shape. Scale this one up as well. And, oh no, it'll scale it down actually. Control plus, and then move this one down, and then E to extrude, S to scale, 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 E to extrude. Okay, that's gonna be the general shape. I think uh, we should flatten it actually, it's gonna be too, too high. Scale Z and move it down. All right, now we'll uh, start doing the seating already. So I'll do here, select these, and then I to inset, maybe just about, maybe that much. And then shift R a whole bunch of times. And then control plus. And then we'll just extrude this down now. E to extrude, control minus. E to extrude, control minus. I can't, cannot do uh, shift R here to repeat, unfortunately, because E to extrude. I do control minus in between, so that would not work. Here we'll do uh, E to extrude. Now we'll scale it up again. And E to extrude. 
Control minus E to extrude. Control minus E to extrude. Ah, control minus E to extrude. Control minus, don't say this. Control minus all the time. Control minus, stop saying control minus the keyword. Okay, control minus E to extrude. We'll do, should we do one more section? Scale E to extrude. Control minus, or do a little bit further down. Control minus, am I going, gonna go down under the ground soon? Control minus. E to extrude, control minus, and one more time. E to extrude, there we go. We're at the bottom now. We've actually gone past the bottom. Should be all right. I can fix it now. I'll just select these, move them down. Okay, down, I said. A to select everything, move it up to ground level again. There we go, control R, let's loop cut here. We're gonna put some control R. Okay, we'll see what this turns out like. Scale Y, here's gonna be the football pitch. A select, oop, A select everything. G, how am I doing? 7.30 on the clock there. Let's do it white. I'm gonna do the floor a bit different contrast here. So I'm gonna do Alt select and the shift key and click on this little edge here to get the loop selects. Oh, we've got a floor seating in there as well. Alt select, Alt select, Alt select. Oop, wrong one. Ah, uh, one more. There. And here we'll just do I to inset and then E to extrude down as if it was some sort of a fencing thing going, maybe. Not a fencing tournament, but maybe a gray there. All right, that's going to be the general shape control. We'll do dart here. And then here I'll colorize it like a green. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to separate this. So Shift D to duplicate that one and E to extrude it just a little bit. And then here, I, ha I won't have time to do uh, all the lines correctly, so I'll do I to inset, I to inset again, and just to simulate that it could be like a football pitch, so E to move that on. And now I'll just have to do some so two lines there, scale Y and scale it down a lot. Control R, just get some guidelines in here. Control R, loop cut, two of these, Control R, and let's go top view so we can see that they're roughly the same at least. Control R. I don't know if I put that one on the outside or on the inside. It's going to be on the inside there. And one more here. And all the inner circles and things like that. Inner circle. Been a long time. Listen to that lyrics, by the way, by inner circle and really think about what they're singing about. Okay. That's super strange. And G and shift select these, G, move that on. Okay, and I'm just gonna put the center circle at least, so I'll shift select those, and shift S, cursor to selected, and then shift A, we'll do a circle here, scale that one down, maybe like this. Be funny to compare this <laughs> to a real football pitch at some point. Uh, e to extrude, right click to snap it, S to scale it down, and let's see. Uh, I have to reset the UVs, reset A, scale zero, and get that one to the white, move it up. Okay, so that's gonna be enough for the football pitch, 4.56, half the time is gone. Now we have to start designing some stuff here as well. Let's do like an entry thing here, so I'll E to extrude that on, move it into here, and then let's pretend that there are two wings here or something, E to extrude that on. And then uh, we could put I to inset, E to extrude that one down, and then here, just on one side here, we've got I to inset, E to extrude, just to get some different designs here. Uh, we should do some entry here as well, maybe I to inset. I was at the Yankee Football Stadium actually in New York not so long ago. Well, it's actually a, couple, a year ago, over a year ago now. A year and a half, wow. And they had some sort of a big opening, I think. I might be totally wrong. And that wasn't a football stadium, of course, it was a baseball stadium. Uh, G to move that on. Okay, we should do some roofing. And uh, some people have paid a lot of premium money here for seats if it rains, like sometimes it does in some places. They'll get a, a roof here. So I'll bring this one out maybe to there for some extra support. I to inset, E to extrude. Let's just get some design on this, E to extrude. I guess the water should be running out of the arena and not in. So let's see. 
I'll do, I'm not an architect, so could probably look a lot better, <laughs> but maybe something like this. In here uh, as well, I'll do some fake shadowing by doing black here, G to move that on. I'm not gonna put any goals there, should I? No, I'm, it's just gonna be the pitch from a distance like this. But what we'll do is, uh, this could be the toilet bowl. <laughs> That's the name for this arena. Looks a bit like a toilet bowl. Maybe I can get some design features here on the side. Like this. Okay, this is why I don't design football arenas. I'll be out of a job soon. But the bidet bowl. Control R. Maybe like this. And then I'll just colorize it for some... Maybe a eye to inset. I'm nearly going away from low poly here. Sort of. In Oh, a bit of a sci-fi look on this one. Gee, maybe I should design a football arena. The sci-fi bowl. No, maybe not. Okay, here I'm also gonna do some... Uh, here's like the parking. Sometimes they build stuff. They build like an Ikea in Sweden, I think. Or they were planning at least without parking. They have some crazy dreams sometimes, but this is like the parking lot. I to inset, E to extrude. There's a double story one. Apparently, oh, comma, global. Is that up? It looks like it's to the side. Okay, E to extrude. I'm sure that not, that's not up, is it? Comma. Oh yeah, it was on the normal. Thought it was. I to inset, E to extrude down. There we go. Here's the entrance for this parking. So it'll be a, I'm just doing the general shape of it. That's it. And here also some more E to extrude. E to extrude again. And 122 on the clock, E to extrude there. Here's like the hotel bit where people can. I'm not gonna extrude all of this, I don't think. I to inset, E to extrude. Control R. Control R. Oop. Control R. Control R. Alt select a few of these. Just a slight. I thought there. Okay, uh, 49 seconds. Oh, we need a, a, a screen as well, don't we? Like a big TV thing. Uh, should we put that? That could be actually this thing here. So that should be all right, actually. I'll I'll do uh, shift D scale Z. I've got 31 seconds here to make a giant screen that's hanging from the roof here. Uh, I'll, I'm just gonna do it black like this. And maybe an entry sign here as well. Shift D, scale, E to extrude. And E to extrude this is gonna be the last thing I have time for. 10 seconds. Bit of a weird design there. Move this one in as well. Ah, uh, G, different color. Time's up. Okay, I'll have to stop it. Roof is shadowing there. Rotate Z180 we don't get the shadow on there. There we go, we've got uh, a football arena or a soccer arena if you're in the US and uh, the pitch is gonna be all wrong, the proportions, and it's missing some lines. I think there's like an inner line here, should be a couple of goals and a center dot, some corner lines. But again, low poly from a distance, that's uh, gonna be sufficient. We don't wanna really be wasting too many polygons there. We've got a, a roof here that could be extended, I guess, but it's not gonna be covering the whole arena. We've got a jumbotron, a big monitor here for the people that didn't get the roofing, they'll get wet, but at least they can see on the screen here what's going on. An imaginary entrance here on the front with uh, some sort of a display board. This could be just some shading to simulate that it was windows. For a different look, we put some design features here. Here was supposed to be like a parking lot and here's like a hotel part where people can stay that have the traveled a long way. It's time for some bonus tips now as well. And we finished modeling this within the 10 minutes, but let's say we wanted to introduce some of the walkways where you can come in and out so the spectators aren't locked into this, like the people that were on that bus that I modeled a couple of weeks ago. But there's a few things you could do. First of all, you could keep it simple and just model it, model it the uh, pathway coming out as a separate object if you just want it to, to look all right from a distance. To do that, I would have pressed uh, any of these faces here. 
and then Shift D to duplicate it, S to scale, X axis, E to extrude it, and then click on it, L to select the link, because all these parts are only connected to each other now. That's why the L key only selects this new one. Maybe I'll go for a, a white there, extrude that on in, out, or just move it actually on the gizmo. If you don't see this uh, little uh, manipulator tool here, I have my hotkey on shift space, which is one of the default setups, and then G, and you get this move tool. So you can see, then you can, it's easy to slide on the individual axes here. And then here, L to select this one and bring it down. The thing is here, you would have to just get it to look roughly correct. Let's maybe like this, and then I to inset it, and then E to extrude. And then I'd have to color that one black just uh, to simulate that there's an entrance because I can't really extend it further in because we've got the, uh, the seating there would block it. So if you just wanted to go for a, a rough look, then maybe L to select that one, Shift D to duplicate it. Put it down too far, maybe like this. Something like this could work uh, just to simulate it. That's one way to do it. And you could put many of these maybe around here. Another way to do it is if you're not too worried about all the geometry, let's delete that. Then you could do Control R for a loop cut. Scroll it up to two here, but see that it cuts quite a lot of the, the whole arena up like this. But if you're not too worried about geometry, maybe this is a better way to go. Then I can select to here and then Control select to there maybe. I to inset, E to extrude it maybe down and then we could slide this one in. Let's go scale X. And then E to extrude and then just slide it into there. Once they're slid in like this, you could just colorize this on the left side. A select everything, scale zero, and then bring that one to black. Control plus to grow the selection to there. Select the ones that we didn't color black here. Scale zero on the left on the UV. G and move it to a dark gray as well. So doing it this way, the spectator entrance here will look a little bit more like it was integrated into the design of the of the stance here itself. But it does add some geometry, but it probably looks uh, better from, from an overall perspective there. And you'd have to just repeat the process and do it in other locations as well, but similar way should, should work. Okay, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, come back next week for another 10 minute mulling challenge. We've got episode 62 coming up. So see you in a week, unless I release something before that. I might even see you before next week.